Hey what's up guys and welcome back to another new Seagate Tweaks. Today we will be share with you guys some new tweaks that I found for you guys. Of course if you already using the iOS 11 up to iOS 12.4 those Seagate Tweaks will be for you. As always before we start today's video let me ask you guys to give the video a big thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever I release Seagate Tweaks video all right guys so let's go ahead right now to start talking about the first cd tweak that i have for you guys and the first one will be talking about the smart battery so this one will be came with a lot of features and a lot of stuff you can configure those from under the settings if we go ahead right now and jump under the settings here so you can see that we have some stuff if you guys want to configure so let's go ahead right now to talking about what we have under the settings here. You can see we have a lot of toggles so you can read each single section what it's going to be for. So one of these sections, I already picked the enable percentage inside the battery. You can take a look at it. Also, if you want to bring or enable the voice alert, if you want that work in your iDevice, one of the other uh, section or option that we have enabled the push notification if you want the battery or the tweak notify you how much is ba your battery in one of the options if you want to use the smart using the Wi-Fi that will be work if you want the battery or the tweak save some juice in your iDevice so it will be disconnect the Wi-Fi and bring it back on once you receive any kind of notification one of the options it will be came with a tweak one of these options will be the smart charging you can toggle that if you want to another option that we have here at the bottom show batteries so if you want to toggle that if you want to force touch on your status bar that will be giving you how much you have juice left in your iDevice as I told you guys that tweak it will be came with a lot of different kind of stuff if you want to configure those from under the settings once again if you guys looking to download this one this one will be called smart battery let me go ahead right now and jump to talking about the next cd tweak so you can tell right now here that above my icloud here or my account there is some sections which is is not available on the apple stock so this is the second tweak that i'm about showing you guys and talking with you guys about it first thing the name for that week will be stick around so you guys can pin any kind of tweak or apps you want to pin those once you want to launch your settings you can see right now here that i already pin my siri and the uh, settings the second tweak that i already download before which is the shovel so the shovel will be came with the tweaks apps and the system apps so for example if i want to show you guys how is that will be work go here at the bottom and slide any one of these section you can see it says pin so if i top on it and pin that to the top so if i go ahead right now and kill my settings here let me just shut down that page and just go back and launch it one more time we will be find that that we already picked it's already on the top section just like that so you can take a look how is that will be looks like and as i told you guys this one is really useful if you want to unpin that just go ahead right now and just unpin that uh, application it will be just go back like before kill the settings and you will be find that it's unpin or pin the way you like this is what pretty much that week is all about and once again if you guys looking to download this one this one will be called please stick around let me go ahead right now and jump to talking about the next CD tweak. The next one will be called the Side Push 2. This is really beautiful and nice tweak. Let me show you guys what we have under the settings here. So basically, that tweak, once you uh, download it in your iDevice, it will be notify you and it will be 
giving you some messages and notify you that what's going on under the Cydia application. Once you download the tweak, go ahead first of all and enable the tweak. Also, if you want to use that tweak only on the Wi-Fi connected, go ahead and enable that. And then also here we have another section which is will be the notification options. If you go ahead and tap on it, that will be giving you what kind of options you want to receive or what kind of notification that you want to receive under that tweak. So here, first of all, we have the use badges. If you want to use the badges, if you want to read some information here, go ahead and do that. Also, we have here show upgrade packages if you want to toggle that. Also, another one if you want to show the ignore upgrades if you have already under the Cydia or inside Cydia application. Another section we have the show news packages if you want to toggle that. Another one is if you want to show the changes packages if you want to toggle that. Also that section will be came with different kind of stuff like for one of these stuff will be hide a section theme or hide the section for your tweaks. Show the progress status or use the other stuff if you want to if we go ahead right now and go back here we have another slider if you want to adjust some stuff and once you're done from all those configuration you need to make sure to resupring your device so your device will be take the effect and this is the way about that tweak it's really useful tweak highly recommend you guys to give it a try and download that tweak once again that tweak called Cypush 2 Let's go ahead right now and jump to talking about the next C that week. So if you want to you remove your DAC background completely, you can go ahead and download this tweak right there. This one will be called the DAC hide background. This will be remove your DAC background completely. So if you're looking to remove your DAC background, go ahead and give it a try. This one will be called the DAC hide background. Let's go ahead right now and jump to talking about the next one. So as always, let me finish my video with one of the new widget that I already found for you guys. This one will be for your lock screen. Let me go right now into my lock screen and then you can see right now the clock that will be came specific for your lock screen. This is how this style will be work. The name for this one will be the stock lock clock. So this is how is the style will be looks like if you want to download it in your iDevice, if you want to give it a try, or if you want to place this one in your lock screen, you need to use the X in HTML in order to place this one in your lock screen. Anyway, once again, if you guys looking to download this one, as I told you guys, the name for this one will be the stock lock clock. So anyway guys, this is the most tweak that I want to share with you guys in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, give the video a huge thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever I release a new video. Catch you with the next one. Peace.